Between the blockbusting AAA multiplayer shooters and a yearly lineup of sports games, EA Originals has found a pleasant niche within the publisher's lineup. There's a distinctly Swedish flavour to the programme thus far, with Unravel, technically a predecessor to the programme, A Way Out and Fey all coming from Swedish developers. Nothing has changed about that with this year's Originals announcement, with Coldwood Interactive returning with Unravel 2, and more Yarnies than you can shake a stick at. Where the first game was a rather isolated, lonely story of loss and love, of memories that took you to various Swedish environments, Unravel 2 is more about kindling a new relationship, of finding joy and companionship. We got to sit alongside and play the game with Coldwood's Martin Salin, and whether you're playing a solo or in co-op, there are always two yarnies on the screen at all time. They are bound together by their yarns in a newfound friendship at the start of the game. That yarn is also the heart of many of the game's puzzles, and the simple fact that there's now two of you and that you're connected adds a new dimension to how the game plays. If in solo, you'll typically be merging the two yarnies into one, ending up with a nice irregularly striped hybrid as you run around. And even while co-op players will be more likely to be running alongside each other, you can still combine and hand control over to one or the other player. One nice touch is that the Yarnies are now customizable. You can pick a different colour of yarn, a different head shape, and different eyes for the little guy. And this then ties into how your combined character looks in the game. Many of the puzzles require both Yarnies to work together. Getting around often relies on leapfrogging from one to another, using one Yarni as a point from which the other can then swing to gain momentum. You could be pushing blocks around to get up to higher places, and so on. It feels natural and fluid to work together like this, though I do get the feeling that it will be noticeably more methodical feeling when playing solo, as you move one Yarni, switch to the other, and then move that one. Mechanically, you won't be doing anything different in solo or in co-op, but it might just have that feeling. The early parts of the game gradually build up these gameplay ideas, many of which will be returning from the first game, although Martin does say that the idea of using yarn bridges to push things across is being kept down to a minimum, with just two instances in the game. However, you will still be creating these kinds of bridges that you can then use as a tightrope to launch both Yarnies up higher, and there will be other forms of physics-based puzzles. However, on the whole, Cold would have tried to lighten the game up, making it more game-like in how it plays. Part of this is just the speed. You will run a little bit faster, you will jump a little bit higher, and your swing is just that little bit more powerful in the game's physics. Much like in the first game, your adventures with Yanni will occasionally tie in with the real world and human characters and experiences. They certainly seem to have a more youthful slant in this game, but that doesn't mean that they can't have the same kinds of drama. One early segment depicts someone running into their bedroom and then holding the door closed as someone bangs loudly on it. Meanwhile, in the foreground, the two Yarnies are shifting a box back and forth in order to reach the spark that has been split apart and recombine them by touching both of them, before then escaping out of the window and onto the rooftops. Within this, Cold would have tried to make these memories more interactive and a bigger part of the actual gameplay as opposed to just being part of the backstory. The main game's levels are all designed to be a little bit easier and without some of the difficulty spikes of the original. On the one hand, you have just the fact that having co-op will potentially allow a more capable player to assist a lesser capable player of getting through the levels, but you also have a three-stage hint system to try and nudge you along if you do get stuck. However, there are further puzzle levels that aim to challenge your reflexes and platforming skills or test your mental acuity in untangling some very devious challenges in front of you. The former certainly have a kind of one more go vibe to them, even in co-op where you actually have twice as much chance of missing a grappling point and tumbling to your failure if you're playing in co-op since you've got two Yarnies on the screen. But the latter had Martin and I gradually working out the switches to pull and in which order, and it's here that having two heads are almost certainly better than one. Though the game does feel a little lighter tonally, there's still a very cold Scandinavian aesthetic. Washing up on the rocky island of a lighthouse at the start of the game, you're again presented with a hub world to explore and open up bit by bit, revealing new levels that you can travel to within this place. 
Your Yarnies will be journeying together through caves, across city streets on a rainy night, and there's an abandoned industrial vibe to the more hellish challenge levels. It's something that does perhaps sit at odds with the intention of making something more overtly fun to then have such cool and cold environments, but it's more important for that to come across in the gameplay, and all of the things that Cold would have done do help in this regard. After the very positive reception that the first game received, Unravel 2 is a pleasant surprise that looks to retain that core spirit but then explore different emotions and feelings. It's just that little bit more playful and, as always, with co-op at its heart, you can share that playfulness with others. Thanks as ever for checking out our video, you can also catch this preview which has got a bunch of quotes from our chat with Martin dropped into it as well so you can get more insights into the game. Before you go though, please do like, subscribe and share and hopefully we will see you again soon. Goodbye!